Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode on the Block State server. This is episode 5 and in this episode I'm joined with a friend of mine that was allowed to be on the server. He's down there. Do you want to say hi? Hello everybody. And you're going to get hit by the spider maybe. Never mind, went behind you. <laughs> I already moved out of the way too. And you're going to go right into the nether. I remember one. <laughs> I remember one time I was playing, and we get to ready for the end dragon boss fight, and I threw my trident into the end, uh, not the end portal, the nether portal, and it, I thought it was gonna come back to me, but it disappeared. So I thought I lost it. I'm like, but... oh no! So I went through the nether portal, and I was able to pick it up on the other side, apparently. Uh oh. So your trident got teleported. Yeah, I did not know that could happen, but it happened apparently. Hmm. The nether portal does teleport entities, so yeah. And the shider doesn't I, count as an entity. Well, I, I guess it does when it's thrown. So if you guys are wondering what we're doing in this episode, we are could, uh, we're finally doing work on my base. As you guys can see, we got a bit done, and what I'm making right now is something called a torus. If you are wondering what a torus is, it's basically a donut shape in Minecraft. So that's what I'm currently making right now. I'm making the middle of it, as we can see. I got the outer ring on the uh, middle part of the torus done. Now I'm now working on the inner ring. After we finish with that, we're gonna get the stained glass I've made and place it in the middle. And we're gonna go from there and see what I want to add to it. I already have a rough idea on what I want to add, but other than that, we're gonna see how it works. And also, if you guys remember from last episode, the episode when we fought the Ender Dragon, you know, I missed an end, uh, ender pole throw, and I literally landed like the farthest, most outest block on the end island territory. I hit it on the side. I didn't land on top of it, and I hit it on the side. And when I was watching back on the footage, I saw that I had like five different opportunities of where I could save myself. But I was so tired that I couldn't think fast enough to do that, so I just fell to my death. And I lost everything when I fell to my death. I lost... I had to shrine it before, and I lost it, and I lost a few other things as well, like my OP armor at the time. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. But it doesn't matter now because I uh, looted some entities, got an Elisha. I literally spent like five hours yesterday killing drowns to get my trident again it was literally a terrible experience i do not recommend it honestly if once you get a trident keep it as long as you can because trying to get it again is not the funnest to do oh i know <laughs> if you play minecraft and nowadays anyone who uh, would know the pain mm -hmm. nope but nope, I was able to get my trident back. I literally killed... It's funny because I had... I only killed like... I think it was like 6 to 8 drowns with tridents. But the thing is I killed like 100 drowns yesterday. The reason how I killed 100 drowns yesterday is because... Wait, did I say 100? How much did I say? I... I think I... I don't remember. And more like around 10... I could be going crazy. I said like around like 6 to 8 for like ones with like the Shrident, but it was like a lot that I killed normally. Like I literally went to a lot of Ocean Ruins and killed like 5 per Ocean Ruin and I went to like about 10 of them. Plus I killed oh. some out in the ocean, so it was like more around like 50 I say. Over 50, yeah. if you do the math. What? I killed like a lot of drowned, and I even had a looting free sword. And you can, oh. and on Java, you can only get the trident if you kill a drowned that spawns with it, and it has to be naturally yeah. spawning too. So it's a very tough thing to do, and the patience for it is insane. I say, I was getting, uh -huh. I was like getting ready to lose my mind. I was doing, I'm like. <sighs> Like, I was just on the verge of just, like, giving up, honestly. But I was able... And then it dropped. Yep, it dropped, and I was happy, and I screamed of joy. 
we basically, after episode four, which episode four was recorded on Saturday, I literally spent Sunday regathering all my things so I wasn't behind, which I did. I got some new things like in Elytra. Um, also, another new thing is this big base I'm making, which is going well, I say, so far. And my friend, he's making his own base underground. He's going to make an underworld type of base. With some features from the nether. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Four. Also, when my parents get back from shopping, I'm going to be disappearing for a bit. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five. There's also, on the server, you already know about this area because I talked to you about it, but for some people that don't know because they don't watch the other's videos, there is a game that's going to happen on Friday. This is being recorded Monday at uh, this point in time. But there's a game that's going to start on, um, what's this Friday. Day? Friday. I keep forgetting. Friday the 27th. Yep. And with this game... People who want to participate, they put a diamond block with their name um, on it into a chest. And on the 27th is when the game starts. And whoever uh, put their name in the chest, of course, joins the game before the 27th. You can't do it midway through. And whoever is the last to live collects all the diamond blocks in the end. And the thing is, collecting, like... Not collecting. Um, there's PVP allowed. We usually don't have PV. Uh, we don't have PVP allowed on the server. Usually, usually, unless someone agrees to it. Uh, I'm talking too fast, so I can hardly speak. But the thing is, uh, with this game, PVP is allowed. That's a lot of trees, and so you can kill each other. You can also make traps to try and kill the person that way. Um, chances of me dying by a trap are slim, honestly, because I. I'm a redstone engineer. I know traps, basically. And so you can do any means possible to kill anyone who's participated in the um, game. And the goal is just last to be alive. They get the diamond blocks in the end. They get all of them. And we have about 10 people on the server. So if everyone were to join in, the winner could... Like, go home with literally 90 diamonds, which is a lot of diamonds. That should be set for life. Dado, unless you're, like, constantly dying. Because <laughs> everyone has their bad moments in Minecraft. Yeah, I have a lot of them in this server. Like, literally, a lot of my deaths are because I go AFK for literally, like, five seconds and I just die. Like, yeah, that's why I never go AFK when I'm playing Minecraft. Unless I'm playing with someone I know who can watch my back. <laughs> Hello. You know, like, it's funny because, like, the first death I had on the server, like, I was looking for a, um, slime chunk. Yeah, I was using the slime chunk finder to do that. And when I was, like, looking around, I started getting... Like, I heard a drowned. I'm like, oh, it's a drowned. It's going to attack me from the back. Maybe I'll be fine. And then I started start getting hit by a trident in my back. And I had, like, full, like, iron armor on. And was doing a lot of damage still. So I tried to swim away. Not swim away. Uh, he was my boat and get away. But it broke my boat. So then I tried to swim away. And it killed me. So that was Oof. death numero uno. My second death I had, I was in the nether. And I was just wandering around, and I accidentally fall in a hole. And, like, I'm aiming for the lava in near shore, so that way when I land in the lava, I don't take damage, because if you land in at least one block high of liquid, like, of any type of liquid, you t take no damage. And the thing that happened is I landed in the lava. I went, four, I went about four blocks into the lava, but I still died. Which was like, uh, okay. So I ignored that. Um, about f 
five of my deaths, I would say, were from phantoms after I finished AFK fishing. I like I don't pay attention to the night of day or whatever. And I walk outside, and then here comes a, the phantom slipping in, doing five hearts of damage to me when I'm in full diamond armor. It's like insane. Yeah, think, that's not pretty. I think like this server's out to get me for some odd reason. Oh, what me? What gave you that idea? I don't know. Um, the nine deaths I have. You no, know, like about like five of them were from phantoms, and the like last two. I don't. Actually, no, no, no. Um, it's actually four of them from phantoms. I miscounted four of them from phantoms. One of them. I died from um, island hopping using Ender Pole. I was too tired, and me looking at the island, I thought it was like 20 blocks away. So I under aimed my Ender Pole slightly. It was actually like 30 or 40 blocks away, I think. Or maybe 50. So I failed, died, and then I died once refighting the Ender Dragon with some people. And then the last death, I don't know how I died. Like, I had eight deaths. I go AFK in my fish farm, come back, and also my death count's like nine. But the thing is, I still have all my stuff, and I'm AFKing still. It's so like, I don't know what happened. Okay, that one, I have no explanation yeah. on that one. Like, I was so confused when that happened. I'm like, okay. Cause I like paying attention to bugs, but that's the first I've heard of that one. Yeah. Ah, my quartz. Dive, dive, dive. Dude, this thing's coming along nicely. If you all are wondering what I'm doing, though, because this may seem like very random with how my base is, like a big wing out in the middle of nowhere. What I'm doing is, if I do have room, which I think I would have room, um, I'm going to have a wing like this pointing in each of the directions. Um, I'm going to have uh, east and west be like that same distance apart for the bridge. But then like north and south, the bridge is going to be maybe two or three times the length so that way I can have some more like room to play with. But what I'm doing is, each wing is going to be uh, different, in a sense. Like, this wing right here, I'm constantly working on the village part of my base. I got, like, a village, like, 500 blocks away. I'm pretty sure you all know that. So, I'm gonna, after finish this, and making, like, the whole entire area, bring the villagers over for their new home. That way they can live here. And they can be my slaves, maybe. I don't know. Um... And this is also going to be where, like, so it's in general, like, my trading center as well. Like, instead of having my villagers trapped in, like, cages where they're being turned into zombies every now and then, so where their trades are down, I don't believe in that stuff. You know, villager rights. So, they're going to be roaming around, and I can just walk up to them and trade, in a sense. And... Another wing will have like farms, a third one, some other stuff, whatever. I some I'm still planning on the rest, but that's the rough idea I'm going with. As well, what I plan on doing is like I'm working on like the middle point of the wing, and you're gonna be standing on top of like a glass layer here, and underneath the glass layer would be uh, underwater river type of thing where fishes are and all that stuff and they can swim between the different uh, wings in a sense and I'm also going to have like another wing be like this big massive pool area it's, it's going to be the biggest project I've ever done honestly so we've finished so, after about, I say, 10 minutes of uh, filling in the, um, not filling in, placing out the um, inner wing, we've um, 
finish that. I can't even speak apparently. My my mind's going a bit like I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, me being in quarantine sucks. But anyways, we got the inner wing finished. We got the outer wing finished for at least the middle layer. Um, and we also got a bit of our glass placed down. But the thing is, I don't have any more uh, glass. And all my sand have not been smelted yet. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to... Um, uh, we're going to, let's just kill that guy first. Okay, now I can speak. We're going to be putting all the sand into the furnaces. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So we're going to put them in the furnaces. And then I'm going to go to the spawn to show you guys the game I am talking about. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. No, 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 no. That was an accident. It was an accident. It was an accident! So we're at the board. As you guys can see, this is it. I'm just looking to see if I'm still recording. So, it says, I bet you can't survive. Hello, fellow players. This game before you is a game of death. You can survive the longest in order to join this game. You must deposit one diamond block in the chest below. Last one to die wins it all. By joining this game, you are agreeing to PvP and traps. You must put the person's stuff in a chest after their death. You will be the survivor. No lava and TNT traps. We don't want items to be lost, which is good. Also, no damaging of uh, people's builds. And you may think that, like, oh, you know, I could build a box around me and be good. No. Apparently, that's not what you can do. I was reading this. I'm like, oh, apparently, you know, I can do that for, like, an AFK fish farm or whatever. And apparently that's not how it is, which I'm tra uh, sad about. Um, also, please rename the diamond block to your username. Please sign up till Friday, the 27th of March. Which we still have two people, Tiny and Peach. And, you know, if it's only those three, I mean, only those two, I think I have a good chance of winning. No, I think I have a very good chance of winning. Now... Of course, it is Monday at the time of recording this, so we could get more people by Friday, so I am going to see how many people we get. But if it's only those two, I'm joining, and I'm going to hunt them down. Yeah, I'm going to get those diamonds. Alright, let's just put my redstone away. Also, one thing I was going to do that I'm going to have to postpone is my shop. I was planning on making a redstone shop. But the sad thing is, um, with the games about to start, once they do start, I won't be able to do that. So, yeah. I'm also guessing that these heads resemble the people who are playing because this is Peach and Tiny's head. <laughs> 